Hello, Chris Poulos of the Humble Holy Lady. Uh, I'm just doing a trailer for the upcoming Saturday stream, and it will be called What Kind of Resurrection? You know, there is a big problem in our church where everyone is obsessed with only avoiding death. But according to the truths of our faith and the deposit of faith, everyone gets resurrected. And only a certain portion are allowed to enter heaven. So um, this really brings to focus what kind of resurrection are we really wanting? Do we want to be resurrected from our sin or from just death? Because everyone is going to be resurrected from death um, at, the, at, the, 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 at judgment day. So I'm going to use this to try to explain how God isn't going to give us uh, a resurrection without a passion, and especially not if we don't take sin seriously and if we lie to ourselves and we deceive each other and we try to avoid the issue of sin. There will be no Easter for those who do that. Um, it's basically just spitting in Jesus' face while at the same time, it's basically being like Judas, you know, it's another form of Judaite, uh, Judas behavior. Um, in fact, it's a little bit worse. Um, so we're going to be talking about that, and it's going to be somber because uh, most people um, are not earning a good Easter Sunday. They are, they are not cooperating with the grace given. And most people um, live horrible lives that are professed Christians. And only a few um, try, you know. Everyone's a sinner, but there's very little effort done to try to um, introspect and to be transformed away from sin. Um, there are a lot of people that are Catholics in name only and Christians in name only in general. And they have no business partaking in the Eucharist and pretending that Jesus is this ultimate tolerant being, um, if they don't want to go through the cross, if they don't want to confess their sins, which is the basics, you know, that's why Jesus came. It had nothing to do with simply um, being resurrected. In fact, the Jews, there was a, a, the, the Jews believed, many of the Jews believed that there would be a resurrection. You know, it was a little bit more vague. And there are many other religions that believe in an afterlife. So, this whole idea of Easter just being this frolicking in the daisies um, holiday, which is just about the fact that we don't we don't cease to exist after we die, is a bunch of nonsense. And there are a lot of people in the church that are trying to construct this false Christianity, um, all the while endangering souls, and all the while really just spitting and crucifying and crucifying Jesus while pretending to love him which is the most disgusting thing ever so um, I'm not going to really hold back um, you know in terms of saying it like it is and and I think Thomas Thomas and I are pretty much done with that as well so if we're, we're going to talk about resurrection we're going to talk about sin and especially seeing as how we need to go through Good Friday which is tomorrow and and of course the Last Supper before Good Friday um, which is all about sin and, and all about um, Christian principles on the commandments that have ne that never changed, um, and that uh, the resurrection has nothing to do with just healing and, and, and being alive after you're dead. It has to do with being transformed, becoming alive in spirit, which is completely different from just becoming alive in body. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you there 10 a.m. Eastern Time, the Awake Stream, on this Saturday. God bless.